Well, did you know that South Carolina is one of the best peach growing places in the entire country? Forget about that peach state, because really, we are the peach state. Um, but you know what? Growing them here is very challenging. Let's check in on one of our Gandy's gardeners. Her name's Amy. And to be honest with you, I feel as though Amy's picture of what happened to her peaches is a beautiful metaphor for 2020 in general. But meteorologist Alex Calamia explains why these peaches failed and why growing peaches here in South Carolina is actually really difficult. We are, I call it, the tastier peach state. How many more peaches do we actually grow in South Carolina compared to, let's say, Georgia, which is actually the peach state? Alex, we have one farm that has as many peaches or more peaches than the whole state of Georgia. Wow, you're kidding me. It's true, only California produces more peaches than South Carolina. So given our state's fame, I planted a peach tree in Gandy's garden back in March, but this year's crop wasn't very good for me. But I don't usually recommend homeowners to try to grow too many peaches unless they really want a challenge. Peaches need full sun, the right amount of winter chill, sandy soil, and sometimes some lime to reduce the acidity in the soil. Weather plays a huge role, which is why growing these trees isn't always so peachy, even for our expert farmers. Were there any issues this year in particular, any challenges that peach growers had to face? Yeah, so when, when it's raining as much as it did uh, earlier on, and there's been a lot of water, especially in the PD region of, of South Carolina this year, so there's a few farms up that way, that is constantly, um, it, it opens the, the door to disease. Uh, as far as like uh, brown rot and different diseases that can cause peaches not to last as long. Rain ruined our first year crop in Gandy's garden, but I wasn't the only gardener left without peaches. Amy said this year her peaches rotted and her tree hasn't given her any fruit after four or five years of trying. But experts say that peach trees do get better with age. You know, they may put on some fruit and next year it'll probably do the same thing. It'll put on some fruit. That third year with proper pruning and fertilizing and everything will be your first, I guess, good year where you'll, you'll bear a good crop. Ann says that she has four trees and right now she's picking huge fruit Farmers report that the mild winter has peaches two weeks ahead of schedule this year and a week ahead of 2019's crop. This year has been better. Um, it's more consistent. Last year we had a lot of gaps where we'd have a week or two of peaches and then we'd go a week without peaches. Even though the numbers, the, the you know, block to block may not be as good. Overall, it's been a better season just consistency wise. Peaches are doing great right now, so get them while you can. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this one right now. <laughs> Peach season ends in late August. Alex Calamia, News 19.